Hey everyone, Pupsker here. Today in Warframe, we're taking a look at some Duveri Paradox Hammer Drifter Melee gameplay. As you can see, Pablo tweeted out some like 38 or so seconds of Drifter Melee combat with the new Sampotes or melee weapon, whatever you want to call it, in the bottom right there, right? You can kind of see the name. So let's just analyze this and see what people say about it. As you can see, the hit registration's a little off, and it seems a little wonky, but other than that, it looks like there's blocking, attacking, parrying, finishers like he just did, so let's just analyze this one, right? You have a gun to shoot to stun, you have your auto attack in general, heavy attack there, slam the ground, did almost no damage, because it didn't hit really. Regular attack, as they're just chilling, gun to stun, I think, and just shoot casually. Yeah, there we go. It, like, interrupts and stuns, it looks like. And then you attack, you could probably, there we go, stun again. I assume you could also parry those again, right? So, yeah, just showing off basic attacks, stuns, etc., right? A lot of people are probably going to be saying this is soul frame gameplay, so let's take a look at how soul frame gameplay is looking right now. So if we want to compare that, which was Drifter Melee, to this, which is Soul Frame, they're honestly very similar and they look kind of the same because it's a melee RPG combat system. They're not going to look too different, so a lot of people are probably going to be saying, hey, it looks like Duveri Paradox, Tenocon stuff all around the Drifter is just kind of like Soul Frame Lite or Soul Frame Demo or a test to see if people would like Soul Frame. I know that's probably all of the chatter what it's going to be about because I did see some of the Reddit comments and we'll look at them after because yeah, to be fair, if this is Soul Frame, that is Drifter Melee Combat, while Drifter Melee Combat seems slower and, you know, less fluid, it still seems like Soul Frame combat, so I don't know. Let's take a look and actually see though now what people are saying about it. If we quickly just take a look on the Twitter, we can just scroll down. People are probably like, yeah, looks cool, nice, never played, okay, you swing your weapon, fire, one hit KO, okay. Combat seemingly be more intentional attacks rather than button mashings, nice, feared herons, worse aspects from melee 3.0, the very poor impact feedback on attacks, currently without seeing damage numbers, it feel like you aren't hitting anything, well there are damage numbers, but yeah, it's a, it's a little meh, can I see your dodge cap locks, okay, so everyone's like, lot of uh, the lack of staggering or, staggering, uh, or visual feedback overall when hitting enemies with hammer makes it look less impactful than it should, I always disliked how weightless hammers and heavy blades feel. Yeah, fair enough. What's with the context of this clip? Drifter only is 267H. Okay. Now let's see what Reddit has to say about it, because this will be uh, more what people are talking about, right? From Pablo's Twitter, do very paradox Drifter melee combat. I am convinced they are testing soul frame combat with this, 100%. Yeah, I mean, no matter what, people are going to say this because it's pretty much true because it's both melee-centered combat. It's the same type of combat, so no matter what, I agree, yeah, people are going to be saying this and uh, it kind of is true. Fine with them testing soul frame combat, but I'll pray this will actually feel good and taken care of fine-tuned. Uh, hopefully it will, because otherwise we'll have another content island that people will complain about and then never get touched again after seeing the OP video. Can't help but fear that combat takes 5 minutes per enemies, but then gives almost no reward in return. People are worried that people are gonna abandon it, fair enough. Don't think you have to worry about long combat for basic enemies, yep. Operator Drifter doesn't have mods, probably never will. We have got focus trees instead. As much as mods enable com uh, customization, they also make meta builds able to trivialize content. Yeah, instead of uh, that, we're getting the same as we got with Railjack. We're getting intrinsic, so while Drifter will be able to get stronger, they won't be able to get ridiculously strong, so who knows how often people play Duveri Paradox after it releases. It could definitely turn into a similar Railjack scenario, right? Because uh, what is happening with Duveri Paradox, it sounds like already happened with Railjack, but Duveri Paradox is going to start off, right? Duveri Paradox has the Drifter gameplay, and then it has Warframe gameplay, it has side stuff, it has story mode only, you can play as your Warframe in certain modes, and then other than that, it's like Drifter combat, so yeah, I'm worried it's not going to have everlasting effects in the world of Warframe, but you know what, that is what it is, there's a lot of games to play all the time nowadays, so I'm not too mad.
Attacks have no impact, just like Warframe melee weapons. Also, the AI needs more work, 5 out of 10. Yeah, everyone's just gonna be like, Soul Frame, Soul Frame. Definitely are Soul Frame reveals there. Yep. Soul Frame! This is the biggest thing they need to understand. Big heavy weapons need heavy impact. Okay. People uh, think the heavy impact weapons are just big, which they pretty much are. So people think the melee needs more impact. Fair enough. Link to tweet. Just like the shoot to interrupt mechanic. I, uh, I also like it. The parry looks satisfying, although it seems very forgiving. Yeah, we'll have to see how it plays. Do you feel like the... Hits lack feedback, it sounds like you're, yeah, it looks a little bit like you're always attacking air, as it tends to in Warframe a little bit, with the lack of enemy movement, but, uh, I don't know. There's no hit lag, it's like the weapon just passing through them, also it feels alpha for soul frame combat. Ah, uh, yes. Weapon animation sound designer sufficiently weighted until it actually connects with the target. Rip. Lacks feedback because it's pretty much the current melee iteration, but on a slightly different gameplay loop. Less enemies, higher risk reward it's why i avoid using melee since 3.0 happened without seeing numbers it feels like i never hit enemies okay okay even current enemies hit when flinch or flinch when hit okay looks kind of easy lock on could use some work so yeah looks like people are a little little wary of this one i think it looks cool but definitely a little wary because my most i guess uh biggest worry i should say is that not a lot of people are gonna stick around after Duveri. We're gonna get our loot, we're gonna like do our uh, intrinsic grind, play through a lot, and then be like, oh, this is just, and it probably will be, this is just another like Zeramin, uh, another Railjack type area. It's just another area you do your own thing, because it's not like Warframe will add any end game, and it's hard for Warframe to add significant replayable content, even with like quote unquote roguelike scenarios, because the Warframe content, or like I should say rewards from that content, just always seem lackluster after a certain amount of play. But since Duveri Paradox is a new intro to Warframe, maybe that'll help a little bit, and maybe it'll bring some more people in, but I imagine this is gonna be a pretty calm update for a lot of people. We're gonna blast through it a little bit, and then we're gonna probably put it down after playing a week of it pretty hardcore and grinding a lot of weapons or items and taking a look at them. But we'll honestly have to wait and see. I just don't see how Warframe at this point is going to incorporate meaningful end game other than just like, hey, farm more stuff, get more incarnate weapons, and upgrade more skill trees. So yeah, it'll keep playing uh, people playing for a while, myself included, but I'll probably go back to playing some uh, other single player games and just uh, taking a look at all of the games coming out this year. Final Fantasy 16, Diablo, God, there's so many I'm waiting on. So I'm hoping uh, Duveri Paradox lasts a while, but Warframe isn't an end game MMO. So I don't think it's gonna last the longest of times, especially since Warframe also just has a slower live service development cycle than any other live service game out there generally. Well, any other big live service game. So yeah, that is so far Soul Frame, Warframe, Drifter, Melee Combat. Let me know what you think other than that. Warframe Reddit be chillin' and everyone's chillin'. So thank you all for watching the videos. You can go take a look at the Warframe animation that Tencent created. I threw it up on my YouTube channel, uh, both the like uh, reaction video as well as just throwing it up because I thought Warframe would throw it up on their YouTube channel today, but they didn't. So I uh, just did that on mine as well because a handful of people are just chucking it on YouTube anyways because it's originally from like Billy Billy. So uh, yeah, I would recommend. I took a look at like at the ad there and some other stuff. So thank you all for watching sub like favorite check out any of uh, the other youtube content or the socials down below and if you ever want to support the channel and use the epic game store you can use epic game store creator code pupsker if you play fortnite warframe genshin really anything i'll be playing honkai star rail when that's out in a month so yeah thank you all and i'll see you next time cheers